And now begins the long and arduous task of dun, 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 washing the bus. It is long and arduous. Can you see all the arduousness? <laughs> Arduosity, my arms. baby. Not happy. Clearly, you can tell by my face. The bus is happy. Yeah. But his bus face is always like, oh, a little more oh, to right the left. There. Oh, I feel so yeah, right there. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> well, at least we know their windows aren't going to leak while you're washing the bus. This guy, right here, making a swamp. Let's go ahead and lunch. Guess what Mike is up to today? OMG. How's it going so far? Oh, it's going to be long and tedious. <laughs> long and long and tedious. The video will make it look like 20 minutes or 30 minutes. But <laughs> It'll be days and days and days. It'll be days and days of this. I still got to do down here and lower over there around the lights, but we're going to have to take all the lights off, all the reflectors off, all the everything. So we're going to have to come back and sand around the areas that we take off. off. Luckily, you can actually see where I'm hitting. It's taking off all the hard water deposits and stuff. Oxidized paint. Yeah. Uh, and what are those sand, um, sanding pads? Are they just for scuffing? Or? These are 3M scotch Bright pads, and it's a sanding system. And it's for, uh, the one I'm using now is to do prior to, um, primer oh so this is the primer one and then we have a green one after we shoot the primer we'll go back and do this again but just basically surface gently over the primer over the primer just to give a place for the paint to grip and then we'll shoot paint gotcha. and then we'll go over the paint and then we'll shoot clear coat so that's why this is such a massive job it's just it's not the painting the painting would be fun compared to this. I bought something called uh, RustoleanPaintJob.com. It cost me like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. I can't remember, something, it was cheap. Um, but basically this guy just lays out um, prep work, uh, mixing your primer, mixing your paint, um, and mixing your clear coat, which after all this is over, which is something I haven't done on anything else, is we're gonna shoot with primer, we're gonna shoot with paint, uh, both Rust-Oleum products, and then we're going to shoot um, an epoxy clear coat, which will harden this up as if it was paint, like a car. So our paint will then be sealed in there, and and then if we buff it, it'll come out looking shiny like a car, assuming I paint it right, <laughs> and it'll get orange peel and all sorts of sheets, everything. Right. So many things that can go wrong. And these are all cracked out and junk, so we'll just chuck them. I like our little bluebird pile. Yeah, we're going to keep use this. Put it back. Yeah. Here, I'll take the screws to it. Actually, I think we're just going to redo the screws, but we need to reference on size. There's so much dirt and grime in these. Ooh, I see it coming out. I can't tell which ones have screws on them and which ones don't. Easy. And then we have to go back around up at the top of the bus and get all the lights off up there. Yep, sure do. There's a lot of them. Technically it's day two of sanding the bus, but Mike just barely started a little bit yesterday, so. And now I'm doing it, I'm like, okay, I'm committed and I'm into it. And yeah, it's gonna take forever, but at some point we'll be shooting paint. And then sanding some more. <laughs> right? So, Rinse, just, repeat. Yeah, there's a lot to do. Well, Mike's making progress. The bus is starting to look like a giant cheetah.
All right, I'll work to the, from the back forward towards the... Okay. Get those spots real good. Mike has been sanding the bus for numerous days now. I don't think either one of us really knows how many days he's been working on this. He just puts his headphones on with an e-book and goes to work. Oh, hello. Hello. I wish we were more careful with the drippings from our... Because <laughs> oh. it's been my nemesis. Every one of these little white spots you see is silicone from that. From the, our roofing yep, of Henry's the, Tropical. The problem with that is that... Um, Paint won't stick to yeah, it. Yeah, nothing sticks to it. And so they actually make special like uh, liquids and stuff, like solvents that you can use to remove silicone. Really? Or you can just sand it off. And like we just have little pinpoints of it here and there. So it's not that bad. If it's like a little bit thick, I just knock it down like this one. I just knock it down with the razor blade. And then, and then I just take it out of existence. I'm going over it again just to be sure that I didn't mess up this. And then I'm coming back right now and getting all the the silicone off. I've just put in the extra effort in. Hopefully this four day we will be able to shoot. I don't know if we will or not, because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh man, there's more. Oh, Jesus, look at that, another one. Oh man, it's gonna take forever to sand that. So, yeah, I'm just out here sanding my life away. He has much higher standards than I do. I would have been perfectly happy to just roll that paint on and go. Roll and go. That's how I roll. Mike dropped one of the wires from the front of the bus. The problem is I don't think I can get my hand up in there. So he took the panel off. Oh, but your hand won't really fit? Yeah, I'm gonna need a flashlight. I'll need the grabbers. Okay, you get the flashlight, I'll get the grabbers. We're super lucky right now that we made the back panels of these little cubbies to where they would easily come out by just removing four little screws. So fortunately, that's the only way Mike has been able to access the lost wire behind the other panel. Oh my God. It's gonna be difficult. Really difficult. Uh, yikes. But not impossible. <laughs> You guys thought I had all the tools in the world. I'm about to blow your little minds. That, I have no idea what he's talking about. The wire is sitting right about here. I see the wire, but I can't see around the corner to get it to that. So what are we gonna do? Fish this. it through. This right here. Fishing it through is actually a pretty good idea. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I'm actually thinking of just manhandling it through there with our grippers and this thing, but you'll have to see what this is right now. I have to hook it up. So, where's the end of this bad boy? You're standing on it. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, hello. Oh man, I'm looking rough today. Well, the camera is not a very good camera. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to see in there. And after that, home colonoscopy. That's right. <laughs> called colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. <laughs> you should tape it to the end of the grabber tool. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let's see what we got first. I see the wire there. Can I grab the wire? Okay, we're going to do your idea. Okay. I need a piece of tape. Your tape back further. Oh, back here. Mm -hmm. Is that okay. good? Let's see what we got here. Let me, just, let me see it. All right. Camera and grabber functioning as one. That's right. Oh, cool. It's working. Bussy is having surgery today. Did you figure something out? All right, got the wire. You got it? Yeah. Now, how do we get it to the hole we need to go to? That's the next question. 
now the fishing could come in here because we could pull this That's to where true. we could take it to tape it to the fish tape. Wow, baby, great work. All right, let's get something fishing in there. Okay. We'll hold this, we'll bring the fish, we'll use this to grab the fish. Yeah. And then we'll and get tape it. it together. Got it? Excellent. That's how that works. I can't believe you pulled that off. <laughs> I mean, as quickly as you did, you know, like we just kind of worked together on that and got her done, huh? Yeah, that, was, that was a pretty cool one, I have to admit. <laughs> we just overcame it, you know, it's like, okay, this is the problem. What are our what are our options? What are our solutions? Right, what are our yeah. tools? Yeah, what I have we some have weird available? tools. Will you bring me that orange tape so I can tape these up so we don't have to do this again later? Yes. That was the coolest thing when I actually saw the saw the wire and then like Yeah, you're like, oh my gosh. Like out of some documentary 10 million feet under the totally, ocean. Totally, I'm saying, like the Mars rover or something. Yeah. Speaking of Mars rover, look at our little ceiling rover in the bus. Isn't it so cute? Ah, stop! Oh, he's running out of juice. Need more power. Here you go, little fella. There, that's how it's supposed to go with the little thing going around. Yeah, it's still going. Endless sanding adventures. This is the butyl tape that we use to seal the wall, those, but we need to get this off for painting. What you doing, baby? Getting off this nasty butyl tape. It's a lot of work, huh? Yeah, just there's the just a lot of windows. Yeah. Oh, but I have a helper down here. She's helping me not be able to move right now. Thanks for the help, Mommy Kitty. She's your biggest fan. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Mama, you're a weirdo. I like it when big chunks just come out effortlessly. Yeah, me too. Like that. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, silicone on the, some of the uh, wall there. Oh. Guess who's getting started taping? Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it doesn't stick at all. At all. Okay, so, so. we have to tape to the inside of those little eyebrows. Yeah. I think it has to be like that. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do here, but it is white, like super white paint, so overspray won't be too apparent. Mike is saran wrapping the bus. And not very happily.
We're no longer using the saran wrap. We're using the new plastic roller. What is it? Fold out plastic roller instead. Yeah, something like that. Definitely no longer using the saran wrap. Yeah. It was a bummer though. I, it was a good idea. Seemed like it at the time. But the stuff, it's too much like saran wrap. And it sticks to itself so well that when it bunches up, it's you impossible. You can't get it un unbunched. Yeah. Okay, pull it. I just grab an edge and pull out. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna fold it up on top. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Oh my gosh, you guys, we have been taping and papering the bus all day long. The sun has gone down. We're not finished yet. We have to get up before the crack of dawn to be painting this side of the bus because this is the east side. This is where the sun comes up and this will be broiling hot by like, I don't know, 7 a.m. or something. So we have to be out here and be done with the primer by that time tomorrow morning. It's like the never ending job. We keep on finding one more thing and one more thing that needs to be taped and papered. And as if all that's not bad enough, the neighbors have been having a pool party all afternoon while we're over here sweating and dying. <laughs> I'm falling In the good times I find myself longing for change. There's the first few shots of primer on the bus. You guys, we got up at five o'clock this morning to get up and come out here while it was still and quiet and peaceful and start painting the bus. It's happening, you guys. Safety yellow is slowly giving way to primer gray. And I'm pretty sure Mike's trigger finger is exhausted and we're not even halfway through with the first layer of primer yet. It's like watching a tennis match. I just keep watching Mike go back and forth. Oh, that's a lot of work. Back and forth. You're gonna have to die, right? Sacrificing you. 
<laughs> For the greater good of the paint. That's right. The greater good of the paint. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Looking really good though, honey. And you beat the sun. Yeah. Alright, here we go with the second coat of primer on this side of the bus. We have to get this side of the bus done first because the morning sun is coming up and getting hot and we can't be painting on hot, hot metal. So we have to hurry and get this one done as fast as possible. We're moving on to the front of the bus. Pretty exciting. You guys, this is crazy. <laughs> Look at our bus. Our yellow is gone. We're completely gray. And after the fun comes cleanup. Yeah, the not fun. Exactly. That said, it sure is nice to have a working tool like this. This is a cheap gun. I got this. This is a Harbor Freight gun right here. But you've used it on everything. Everything we've painted in this bus, we use this gun on. Yeah. They got killer reviews, and I don't have anything bad to say about it. This has done everything that they said it would do. Pretty cool. This wasn't the hardest project on the bus, but it was easily the most tedious one. Sanding sucks. <laughs> yeah. You but, did a lot of sanding over and over and over again and again. Yeah, I just was like, that's what they, every time they talk about paint was like, you need to, uh, what you put into it before the paint is what you're gonna get out of it. Right. So, like, I just wanted it to look, look good. But we still have a ton more sanding to do. And uh, we're not going to tell you what color it is, but I've already given you a hint. What is the next few steps, though? Now that we've got the primer on, we have to re-sand this again, right? All right. So the next step after this is we come back and sand this with a super fine uh, sanding pad, similar to the, the, it's the gray one from the 3M line, ultra fine. We're going to come back and sand every square inch of this primer with that. <clears throat> and we also have some... Uh, little drips and curtains that we need to just polish out so that those are gone yeah. and then we wash it wash to grease again and tack cloth shoot color so that's what we're doing so stay tuned this is the end of part one and it's pretty awesome yeah so part two coming at you soon and you'll get to see what color we finally decide to go with but i've already given them a hint they don't even know it I didn't even know. It's it. a big hint. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'll tell you after we turn the camera on. Okay. <laughs> I'm in on the secret. You guys don't even know. <laughs> oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right.